Hello everybody, Star Trek Wave here. I'm continuing on my Biotech reviews. Today it's going to be on, as you can see here, tracks. Biotech tracks. This one is the uh, Biotech version. You can tell because of the metal on it. Because there's an alternators version as well. And there is another Biotech coloured version as well, which is a yellow one. Which makes the yellow one more rare than the two. Because uh, there's two different versions, the blue one there's the alternators and Binal Tech, whereas with the yellow version there's only the Binal Tech version. There are a couple of subtle differences between the two. I mean, the most, the biggest one is uh, just, the, well, it's all the colours basically, and that's the only difference. The actual robot itself is like, nigh on identical, it's just colours. The obvious one, this is blue, there are some other colour changes. Anyway, onto the car. Nice car. Transforms into Corvette Z06, which is an updated version of Trax's original Corvette mode. Has the usual biotech refinements, movable wheels, opening doors, and an opening boot, as you can see here, with the engine inside. And the nice little details inside there, it's got, you know, makes it, the sculpting makes it all, it's got battery, uh, radiator grill, and other bits and bobs. So it's a nice little design feature there. It also has missiles built into the doors. I don't think Corvettes have them per standard, so to say. <laughs> Unless it was probably modified by the A-Team, maybe. There's a nice car. It rolls quite freely as well. As you can see here. It even has, I don't know if you can see that, it's got brake disc details inside. Yeah, for a nice little touch of that. And also that's on the underside it's got some exhaust pipe as well. And unfortunately Trax is one of those biotechs that chips quite easily. I've got here some of the chipping, I don't know if you can see that. It chips mostly due to the transformation. The solid metal on most of them, doors, the front. It's plastic on the windshield and plastic on the roof and the back. Just like the real Corvette, because the Corvette is plastic on the on the rear as well. And it's also got Corvette sculpted in there, don't know if you can see that. And four exhausts. So anyway, we'll get on to transforming this. So I'll just put the camera down. So first off, open the bonnet. And remove the engine if you can. The engine can be a bit stubborn sometimes. There we go. And then just make that into a gun. Like with all bio most of the biotechs. There we go. Transforms into a double barreled gun. So transform tracks. What you do is separate the legs and move the windshield down. Open up the, the bonnet. So the windshield is now down, and then you just unfold the legs. This is why a lot of Biotech, large tracks Biotechs are scratched because of the transformation form. So there we have him extended a bit. Now we just lift up the metal and move it up a bit to the back. Same with the other leg. Swing out the feet. Here you can see he's starting to take shape now. Right, move aside the missiles. Move down the chest piece. Nice how they sculpted that in. Then what you gotta do is got collapse the the roof. Unlock the missiles. And there we go, the roof is collapsing. The seats fold in as well. So now what we've got to do is open up the rear rear arms, make sure the wheels are facing forward. Now see here, we just got to unfold the arms. There 
There we go. Now, rotate the head round. Open up the, arm, the hands. And extend the guns on his wrists. Position missile launchers how you like. And now the biggest problem I find is with the doors because they just hang there and they are among the worst pieces of kibble on any of the vinyl techs. If you'll stand up. It's got face more feet tracks has. So he doesn't stand as well as some of the others. Let's just put his gun in. Holds his gun quite nicely though. Nice and solid inside there. There we go. And there you are. Tracks in robot mode. Uh, it's a nice looking robot mode. A lot of homages to the original toy here. With the missile launchers on top. That's a nice little touch. Uh, the so and the, the wheels on the shoulders and the back of the car come out sort of like wings. And the chest is uh, a whole new separate mould that's not on the, on the original car. They actually moulded this to make it look like Trax's original chest, which is a nice little touch. Uh, let's just show you that a little bit there. The head is very nice as well. Yeah, it's a definite tracks head. You look at it and definitely think tracks. Complete with a red face as well. Uh, also, the um, tracks is that uh, you know the most armed out of all the barn attacks because he's got the rocket launchers. Then he has his handgun. Then he has cannons come out of his wrist. So he has the most armed out of all the barn attacks, which is quite nice. Of course, the ravage mold would be the same one. Uh, now onto articulation, it's still got full range of mobility on this toy in the shoulders. It's hampered a little bit by the missiles but you can move him just below the shoulder as well. There we go. And you can move at the uh, elbows. He can move a bit to his in his legs but they're hindered somewhat by some of the um, kibble. And unfortunately these doors on the side a bit of a pain because you just don't know what to do with them or where to put them. Would be nice if there was an easy way to remove them without actually damaging the toy. But I don't want to do that because I don't want to damage the toy. Now, the other subtle differences between this version and the yellow version is the yellow version has lighter colours than the this version. This version has all black limbs here and here. Whereas the yellow version, I think they were like bronze, a light bronze or something like that. My friend's got, I'll have to have a look at it sometime, but they are lighter colours on the yellow tracks, and so is the uh, chest around here. It's a lighter gold. They're the, uh, so they're the only differences. This one's you know, a darker colour scheme than the other one. This one also came with flame stickers that you could stick on the hood to make it look more, make them look more like this original G1 tracks. Well, I took them off because I didn't want to wreck them because they were peeling quite badly, uh, so I decided to take them off because I didn't want to, didn't want them destroyed or anything like that. It's got a nice range of motion in his head. It is on a ball joint as well, so he can do some nodding if he wants to. Uh, overall, it's not the best vinyl tech to start off with, but he is recommended. He is a very fiddly transformation, very complicated to do. But he does look very nice in both modes. I would say pick him up if you're a, if you're a vinyl set collector like myself. Uh, other than that, he is a good mould. But there are other better vinyl techs out there than this one. So, yeah, I'd say recommended. And I do like it, so it's really nice. Oh, I'll just show the shot at the back. Don't fall over. See, so he's got some more kibble around the back there. Now, I'm running out of time now, so till next time, this is Darth Shockwave over now. Bye!